Castor oil, ladies. That's right, you asked for it. So today we're talking about castor oil packs for fertility on Fertility Mom. <music> Welcome back to Fertility Mom. Here we talk about all of the tips, tricks, and secrets to getting pregnant naturally. It's all science-based, and I love all this stuff, so it's my nerd zone. We're gonna talk about it all. You guys have been asking me a lot about castor oil, and so we're gonna dive deep into castor oil today, and I'm gonna talk about how to do it and what not to do. Okay guys, so castor oil has been used for centuries to detoxify and regulate and get rid of all the junk in the liver and any other area in the body. It's been used for chronic illnesses and inflammatory diseases, because you know I love to talk about decreasing inflammation, that's my thing, and castor oil fits the bill. So I'm sure you guys have heard a lot about it. You can't really get into the natural fertility world without hearing about castor oil packs, but there are some things that you should know about how to do it properly and then, you know, there are some other things that we should know just to keep it kind of relaxed and not this hugely prescriptive, very restrictive thing. It can be more relaxed than maybe other people or other sites lead you to believe. So castor oil helps to increase circulation and blood flow to all of your organs in any area that you put it on. And it helps not only to increase circulation and blood flow, but it also helps your body to release toxins and get rid of them. And it does this by impacting the lymphatic system and the liver and the circulatory system. And now you know, you want your liver to be super duper healthy because your liver is the site of a lot of action. Your liver detoxifies the blood, it breaks down things, it neutralizes things, it, it balances estrogen, and it balances all your other hormones. So it's extremely important that we want our liver to be super healthy. Now I feel like a lot of times in fertility we focus on putting castor oil packs on the uterus and that makes sense because we're talking about fertility, right? But we're gonna talk about doing a couple of different things with our castor oil packs today. Okay, so first let's talk about when you should do your castor oil pack for fertility. Number one, you should start doing your castor oil pack on the day after you have your period. So as soon as you have your period, you stop bleeding, you can start doing your castor oil packs on your lower abdomen over your uterus. And you do it over your uterus, on your lower abdomen, for your entire follicular phase up until you ovulate. Once you've ovulated, you don't wanna do a castor oil pack down on your abdomen because it can actually cause uterine contractions and a lot of different things to the uterus that we don't want if you want to get pregnant. If you're not trying to get pregnant, then go to a different video, but <laughs> since you are trying to get pregnant, we wanna just do the castor oil pack up until ovulation. After ovulation, you are going to continue doing the castor oil packs, but you're gonna move it to your liver. Now your liver is located on your right side, right by your rib cage, right under your breast, so you can just make sure that you have it like midline to the right and then avoid the lower abdomen at that point. It's pretty easy to do because you're not gonna have a huge thing. We'll talk about that coming up. So, castor oil pack, lower abdomen, over the uterus from the day after you finish your period to the day you ovulate. Castor oil pack over your liver from the day you ovulate up until either you get a positive pregnancy test or you have day one of your cycle again. Okay, so to make your castor oil pack, you're gonna wanna use pretty good castor oil. You're gonna wanna use cold pressed and pure. This one says top quality, so. I can put the link for this one down below. So you wanna get a good quality castor oil. And then you're gonna to wanna to get some sort of sheet or old t-shirt that you can tear up or you can use old flannel, but you have to make sure that it's white and it doesn't have any dye in it that can run because this will actually make dye come out of shirts and flannels. You can also just use paper towels, you can use gauze, you can use anything. You look online and it says use flannel, use a certain type of cotton that's from some weird place out and I don't even know where. You don't have to do that. The point is that you want the castor oil to be on you, so you just need something to hold it there. Now, to make it easier, you can just put it on your skin. You don't need to actually saturate something to, have the, to hold the castor oil on you. Now, the benefit of actually saturating a piece of cloth with the castor oil is that you can package it up and save it. You can use it up to 
five to 15 times depending on the cloth that you use. Honestly, I always find it easier just to put it on directly on the skin and then you can wash it off and then you can do it anywhere, anytime. You don't have to worry about packaging and prepping and all that stuff. There's a lot more prep work that goes into making an actual saturated cloth, but you can just put it on your skin to make it easier. So after you have either saturated a cloth with castor oil and placed it on you, or after you have rubbed the castor oil on yourself, you're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap. You can use saran wrap, any other kind of cling wrap, or you can just use a plastic bag as well. You wanna make sure that it's not touching your clothing or any sheets or towels or any kind of other clothing because it does stain. So if you just bought like brand new sheets, don't put this on and get in your new bed because you're gonna have splashes all over it. So sit on a towel, you don't really mind getting kind of crappy and avoid using anything nice around it because it will stain. Um, once you have the plastic wrap in place, you can either use a hot water bottle, an electric heating pad, or I really love to use these things. These are like corn rice bags, and there's several different kinds. You can either get ones that are filled with rice, you can get ones that are filled with corn, you can get ones that are filled with herbs. This one's filled with herbs, so it actually smells really nice. And you can put them in the microwave for a little bit of time, and they stay warm for like 20 to 30 minutes, which is great. So this particular one I love because you can put it on and it wraps around your abdomen and it, it will Velcro on the other side and you can just put it on and it stays put, which is great. So I love these things. I use them for everything. I use them for cramps. I use them for, because I'm cold. These things are great. So, but you can use hot water bottles or uh, electric heating pads. I'm not crazy about electric heating pads because there is a little bit of a fire risk, especially if you fall asleep at night with them on. So I prefer these. They're easy and they don't stay hot too long. So once you have your castor oil on your skin in place or the pack in place, you can then you wrap it in the whatever warm device that you're using and you can leave it on anywhere from like 20 minutes to 45 minutes, usually about average about 30 minutes. But it can be for as long as you can do at the time. If it's a matter of timing and you only have 15 or 20 minutes, do it for the 15 or 20 minutes so you don't miss a day. It doesn't have to be like, it's not all or nothing. It's not 45 minutes or nothing at all. Just if you can do 15 minutes, do 15 minutes. So you'll put that stuff on, you'll leave it there for a little bit, and then you'll wash it off your skin. You'll put your pack in a bag or a glass jar if you're using the saturated flannel, saturated, whatever it is. Um, then you can store it in either a glass jar or a bag for up to like five uses. I don't really like to use those things a lot. Just I'm a one-shot deal. I like to rub it on the skin and be done with it. So I'm not really a good person to ask about the storage bit, but I'm sure you can look that up online. I just put it straight on the skin because it works good for me. I can just do it quickly and not have to worry about pre-planning it. 20 to 30 minutes. And now here's what not to do. We kind of talked about this before. You're not going to want to put this on your, on your lower abdomen over your uterus during your luteal phase, during the time that you could be implanting because it can get in the way of that. You're throwing a whole lot of blood and circulation. You're throwing around toxins around there. So you want to keep that area kind of clean and away from the castor oil effects while you could be implanting. So that's why we do it on the liver. Or you could just do it during your follicular phase and then nothing at all until the next time that you might need it. Okay, ladies, that was a really quick video just to give you an intro into castor oil packs and how they can work for you. They're really great at releasing a lot of toxins and getting blood flowing to previously stagnated areas that don't get a lot of flow if you've got a lot of toxin buildup. So really great for that. It's just good all around. Even if you don't think that you have a problem, it can be great. It might take a few weeks for you to see the effects of it. It's great if you have fibroids or endometriosis or pain, very painful periods, very heavy periods. It can be really great for that. So it's a really great natural remedy. It's been around for centuries. I highly recommend that you use it and don't drink it though. You know what happens if you drink it. Don't drink it. Thanks for watching today on Fertility Mom. If you liked this video, if you learned something new, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell because we're going to be talking a lot about natural fertility, tips, tricks, and secrets, all research-based to help you increase fertility, improve egg quality, and get pregnant faster. I shall see you next time. Bye, ladies.